So Omega broke the internet, not with its 2022 novelties, but with its parent company, Swatch, with their recent collaboration, the Moon Swatch. This, especially after its underwhelming 2022 novelties, which seemed like a copy and paste of Rolex's collection from the last year. The internet has opinions of the Moon Swatch, given its relative initial scarcity. But my question is, is this a version of the Dior Jordan from a collaboration perspective or something that diminishes the Speedmaster brand? In one way, it's a great way to evangelize watches to a new generation who are gravitating towards smart watches via a hype play as popular, popularized by brands like Supreme and their legendary collaborations or the Dior Jordans. Well, it's probably the initial hype and then Swatch will mass produce them. This is why the article about this watch is trending on Hypebeast. This will be a mistake in my opinion. Let's use the Dior Jordan collaboration as an example. Jordan brand is part of Nike and makes mass market shoes. Dior is a luxury house. When a limited release makes sense in that context is symbiotic. Dior gets to say, we are in the sneaker game and then sell its own sneakers or trainers at a high price point for their clientele. For Nike, it's a chance to enhance their brand by adding exotic manufacturing and the hype generated by collaborating with a luxury house like Dior, which results in more mass market shoes being sold. It's a win-win. Dior is a couture brand that now has a sneaker line. This is where the Swatch X Omega collaboration gets interesting if it is mass commercialized. Omega and Swatch are both watch brands at very different price points. If this is a pathway to the world of horology for, new, for newcomers, then it makes some sense as Apple is now selling more watches than the whole Swiss watch industry. While luxury watches are hot right now, this does not make a good future business for a mid-tier luxury brand like Omega, and perhaps even more devastating to a brand competing below the price of an Apple watch like Swatch. To appeal to a new group of clients, they will have to mass produce this watch. The road is one full of many obstacles as mass commercializing this one may make Omega's biggest watch a cheapened one as a novice will just think it's a Speedmaster which you can get at a Swatch store. If it's an upsell play, then what exactly are you upselling at a Swatch store? In any case, the hype audience, I'm, so, I'm sorry to say, will go for a Rolex before they go to Omega once they get to that price point in watches, no matter how they've been introduced into watches via this collaboration, perhaps. They're just going to gravitate towards Rolex because in the luxury space, Rolex is the hype brand and probably will continue to be. If it's kept to a small run on select occasions, then maybe it makes sense to sell to those few collectors, but it's not like many collections are without a Speedmaster. Why would they then go on Hype Beast to promote this watch? It's not bringing new customers, and to be frank, lowering the price point in a way the Dior Jordan collaboration would never do, as those shoes are made in Europe of the finest materials makes absolutely no sense. This release or drop, if anything, is perplexing as I see the only way this will work is, is if Omega repositions itself after giving up the race for mid-tier 
mass appeal watches to Rolex, maybe a brand that has a smaller core collection and then lends itself to collaborations. Or maybe, and sadly, this is the Swatch Group trying anything to go after the Rolex hype. Do let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope you're enjoying the content on this channel. Thank you.